The crypto library for Node.js is one of most adopted technologies for encrypting and decrypting data using the most common security algorithms for encryptation. So, in this video, we are going to take a look in the AES, the Advanced Standard for Encryptation. This algorithm is based in the symmetric key, it means we utilize the same key to encrypt and to decrypt the message, and then we can have the information securely stored or transferred between two parts. Okay, so let's see how to utilize this library and this algorithm with one Node.js code. Let's begin. Here is the code with the example of usage of AES. We have example for encrypt the message, for decrypt the message, and here how to use both together, encrypting and later decrypting a certain message. Don't worry to copy this code. The link is already available to download the code. code. It's stored in GitHub, and you can take that in the video description. I have made a few adjusts in this code to make that easier for understanding that with AES, we may encrypt any kind of data, not only text messages, but any kind of binary content, any kind of file. Okay, so it's a generic algorithm. And for this purpose, you may see here in the first part of the execution of the code that we have as a target for encryptation here one message, one text data. But we transform that, that in one array of integer, in one byte array, okay, with this buffer method. This buffer class has this from method and then generated this array. And then that, that is the parameter to the algorithm. So the encrypt function that has the encryptation algorithm inside, it don't matter if it's receiving bytes that the source is a string, is a file, is a streaming of data you received from network. They are bytes. So the input is going to enter here in the encrypt. And later on, we are going to call the decrypt function it again receives then this byte array and receives the output also as bytes. Then if you want to convert that to string to be able to present that in the user interface, then you may transform that again in string. Okay, so that is the general usage of this code, right? But now, and how that works? So take a look here in a few configuration. Here we are using the AES but one specific type of AS, which is based in a key with 256 bits. It, it means 32 bytes. What it means? It means the size of the key. Your password needs to have exactly 32 bytes. So you may find some examples in the internet that normally will just generate some random uh, bytes for generating this key. But you could have your own keys, but it's important to have exactly this size. The key size is important. Okay, so any kind of, of key could be utilized, but the size has to be this way. And then here we have the initialization vector. It's also a very important variable that all AES implementations need. Not only this one for Node.js, but all of them. Right. Then here basically is use the functions that the crypto library will provide to us. Of course, for you execute this code, you need to download the crypto model that is a standard library for Node.js. Okay, so here basically we have to call the update method from, from the Cypher um, object. Observe that the Cypher object was initialized with the algorithm that is parameterized and also with the initialization vector and also with the key. But the key is not utilized as a string. The key is also utilized as a byte array because the key could not only be a string in the code or in a configuration file, it could be a file, a text or file with this key very securely stored. Okay, so the key is received as well as a byte array. So here we create the, the Cypher object 
and then we call the update method. The update method will actually encrypt the data to us, but it does not encrypt the whole data. Some, some rest could remain in some kind of buffer of this object. And then we have to use this final method. The final method will take the first part that was encrypted and then will concatenate with the, the remaining. And then here we have the full, um, full encrypted code. Okay, here I have some extra code. Then I, I take that out for we execute that later on. And then here it's going to give to us in the output of this algorithm, the encrypted data, here's the encrypted data, and also the initialization vector. And why we need the initialization vector? This initialization vector was random generated, and it's important to decrypt the message later on, to do the, the reversing of the processing. And the user will have just the key, this first part, but he need to have this initialization array as well. So that's the, the idea. As the output of the encrypt method, we give to give as output the encrypted data and also the initialization vector. Both as strings, then it's easy to, to transfer for network and another means for data transferring. Okay? Transform the output in hexadecimal strings means just zero to nine a to F, so easy to transfer without break the, the content because of some um, char set problem. Okay, even for storing the database is the information already encrypted. Okay, so here the decrypt, the another part, we take the initialization vector as well. Here we make that the way back. Here we have take the initialization vector that is one array of bytes and transform that in an hexadecimal string. Now it do it do the reversing, okay, return again the initialization vector as a, a numeric um, array, take the encryptation data again as byte array, not as a hexadecimal string, so it do the reversing part. You need to know that it was an option, it's not mandatory. In your own implementation, you could skip these hexadecimal stuffs here and these hexadecimal stuffs here. It was just set here because it make easier to take this output and send in a REST API from network without worry with strange content inside, okay? But it's not necessary. It's one additional processing. If your algorithm is going to run all in the same computer without having these compatibility problems, maybe you can skip this hexadecimal conversion and, and the way back. Okay, so here is the important part. It's it creates the object that will perform the AES algorithm using the same key, using the same initialization vector, and then it's going to decrypt the content. The same reason we have it as the final, it's true here as well. Some information could remain in buffer, then we take everything in this part, and then here we have the decrypted content. Now, I have explained to you how the encrypt works, how the decrypt work, you can then just execute this code and we are going to encrypt this message here and then we are going to decrypt that later on. The message already seen here, we are going to encrypt that here. We are going to present that in an encrypted way. We are going to decrypt that and present that again as the original text. Okay, just easy to execute, right click, run code. And then here we have the encrypted message, okay. And then here we do the way back, having the original message again available. So it's that how to use the AS with Node.js. Hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.